When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Simi and I'll be bringing you content on faith, nursing and life. Let's go. So today I'll be talking about spiritual growth tips, how we can grow spiritually. Spiritual growth is really important to Christians. It is important to us because the way we feed our physical body is the way we should actually think of feeding our spirit man. Because our spirit man needs food too. It needs to grow. If you don't make it grow, if you don't allow it to grow, it's not going to be able to live the way God has actually called us to live. That's why it's really important for us to feed our spirit man. God wants us to grow. Spiritual growth is something that you have to talk about and it's a lot. It's a lot to talk about and I would like it that you guys understand and I don't want to rush anything. I don't want to rush anything. So today I'll be giving you spiritual growth tips. If you have been struggling with spiritual growth and like every other Christian, you have been going up and down. And you'll be going up and down, up and down, up and down like that. Let me tell you, you're not the only one. Okay? Snap out of it. Like, don't beat yourself up. Yes, there are times where you're slacking. Yes, there's times where you're doing great and you're just on a Bible reading spree. But let me tell you, okay? It happens to the most of us. And today, I am just bringing spiritual growth tips. How can we actually grow spiritually? How do we feed our spirit man? How do we allow our spirit man to grow? I want you to remember that spiritual growth is a process. It is not a destination, it is a process. It is a process that we continue to embark on. It is not somewhere that we just get to bam and we have grown. No, we all continue to learn. Learning from the Bible, learning from God, learning from the Word of God doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. <laughs> Congratulations. So the first thing I would like to talk about is music. Music is one of the ways that you can actually boost your spiritual growth. It helps with how our spirit man grows. Music has a lot of influence on our spirit man. Whatever you take into your heart, actually, it is very hard to take it out. So be careful of what you listen to. There is music that uplifts you. There is music for worshipping God. There is music to make you grow and reassure you in your faith. Music does play a role in your spiritual growth. Starting out, I would advise maybe get a playlist of gospel music that you like to listen to throughout the day. It doesn't have to be at a specific time. You can listen to it while you're doing chores. You can listen to it while you're doing things around the house. You can listen to it on your way to work, on your way to school, whatever the case may be. You could just plug in and listen to it. It doesn't have to be, oh, from 7 to 8, I'll be listening to this music. No. Let me just say that I love music so much. I don't just listen to gospel music, but you should be careful of what you put into your heart still. I could give you a few recommendations. We have Travis Green, we have Kirk Franklin, we have um, John Mark Reynolds. We have other amazing gospel artists just like them. And I would just say, get them on your playlist and listen to them. Jam gospel music 2020. Number two, listen to or watch sermons. When they speak truth, you're just like, oh my God, I've been shot, man down, man down. <laughs> I mean, the flesh has been shot, man down, man down. But the spirit man just went up level. Watching sermons help you a lot. When it comes to listening to or watching sermons, the person that you actually listen to has a big, a major effect on what you actually take in. Now, look for somebody that can actually pass the message across to you and you'll be willing to hear from. One of the people I love hearing from is Pastor Michael Todd. He is one seasoned pastor, an amazing pastor that I can relate to in this generation. He is one of the pastors just like that. I have youth pastors in my church that are amazing that I can relate to and they relate to me. I can laugh in their sermons. I don't have to keep a straight face just because I'm hearing the word of God. But let me tell you, not every sermon is all laughs and all jokes. Not every sermon is like that. But it doesn't have to always be. No, it doesn't have to be like that. You can 
listen to someone, get the word, and still have fun with it. Okay? Okay. Good. Number three, worship, fellowship, and talk to fellow believers. You can either fellowship with them, worship God with them, hang out, just go to the restaurant or to the bowling center and, you know, have fun with fellow believers. Get to know your fellow believers, worship with them, fellowship with them, talk to them, make friends with them. It helps your own spiritual growth because you have similar minds you have like minds with them they could have similar goals with you and they can help keep you accountable and that helps a whole lot i have friends that are amazing in christ does that mean that i don't make friends with other people no that does not mean that but i have those friends because i know they will help keep me in check number four talk to god prayer is key prayer is not always or something like that whatever it's not always like that it is not always serious it is sometimes you pray some batu as in you pray you batu in prayer yes i get it but it's not always serious sometimes you can just lie down on your bed and talk to god as you would to a friend because god is really our friend so you can talk to him about your day your troubles your challenges that crush that your girlfriend, that your boyfriend, anybody, you can talk to him. This helps build our relationship with God. It helps grow our spirit man. It helps us know when God is talking to us and when the devil is actually speaking. The more you spend time in God's presence, the more you know him, the more you know how he speaks to you, the more you know how he communicates to you. So this is actually really advisable. Talk to god just know that you are not a radio god is not just on the other end listening to you speak you have to let him speak you have to give him that space to speak keep that conversation going listen to him talk to him listen to him talk to him spiritual growth starts with the little things it is step by step by step by step the key is don't stop moving keep on going there will be a time you're gonna hit it and you're gonna hit that flow running as for now keep on going don't stop don't stop ask god for the strength to continue now tip number five is god's word god's word is really important and vital to spiritual growth our spirit man depends on the word of god to grow and to survive the way our bodies depend on food that's how our spirit man depends on god's word man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Now, we need the word of God to grow. Joshua 1.8 This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate on it therein day and night, and thou shalt be careful to do according to all that is written therein. Now, the thing is, let us continue to read the word of God. It enlightens us. It opens our eyes to new things. And this fosters spiritual growth. The more you know, the better you live in Christ. I'll give this example. Just imagine a rich man, a very, very rich man. He doesn't know he's rich and then he needs something one day. But he doesn't know that he has the money to actually buy it. So he goes around begging for the money. Just imagine not knowing that you have something. Just imagine how painful it would be to actually own something and not know that you own it. And you actually really need it. Like, need it. That's the thing. You have to know what God says about you to be able to live in that truth. Okay? So it is actually good to read God's word and understand more about you and about Christ. The most important thing I'd like you to take away from this video is that it starts with the little things. It starts with a step. Drops of water that makes the ocean. It is single trees that make the forest. So why can't you just begin with a step? And make sure not to beat yourself up when you actually fall. The most important thing is to get back up. That brings me to the end of this video. I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click that like button. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button and turn on your post notification button. Remember to comment because I do read your comments. I read anything and everything. Ask your questions. Whatever video you like me to make next, please do tell me in the comment section below and I'll be sure I will try my best to record one on it so guys i'll see you guys in my next youtube video bye